Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict, and today we're here to walk you through the process of figuring out if a battery operated snowblower is going to work for you in your driveway in real world situations. So I'm standing here in shorts and a t shirt. Yes, this video was shot in August. How in the world did we do it? We had to get very creative, but let me first tell you what we started with and why. We started out with the new Ego 56 volt snowblower. Now this snowblower is unique in itself because it can run off of one of the 56 volt batteries or two. And if you purchase this as a kit at Home Depot, it comes with two 56 volt, five amp hour batteries and a charger along with the snowblower. This was a unique unit because it's new this year and it runs off two batteries. They say it has a 35 foot throwing distance for snow. So that was an equivalent model to this Troy built 210 Squall. This is a 123 cc 21 inch snowblower that we figure is an average single stage snowblower for a household with a smaller driveway. So we wanted to use this as our base. On the left is a Greenworks 80 volt max. 20 inch snowblower, which is uh, powered with a two amp hour uh, 80 volt battery. So it's a little bit small, but Greenworks says this will run for 45 minutes. So we threw it in the test kind of as a 299 deal. This is about 375 and this one is 599 with the battery. So we have kind of high end battery to lower end battery with a gauge in the middle. So we started out with this saying, everybody blows wood chips. Uh, that's kind of a consumer report standard, I guess. So we tried it. We used each one and we were working on wetting the, the animal bedding down um, because it's at pine shavings, not actually wood chips. And we are trying to wet it down to get consistent results to where we could actually throw the snow to figure out how far the animal bedding would go. That was difficult because we were not equipped to get the moisture content exactly the same between all three units. And it just kind of gave us the feeling of, this isn't right, this isn't snow, how are we really gauging it? Coming out of it, we ended up just putting some dry wood chips down and in the dry wood chips, the Ego probably performed the absolute best with the gas uh, Troy built model following up at a very close second and then the the 80 volt Greenworks was fair. I don't really believe that wood chips are the answer to this. They look cool and they're probably the most cost effective. So we decided to try ice. And ice is one of those things that I think most people are gonna run into inside uh, their normal snow blowing activities. You drive over the driveway, you know, you get a big pile at the end of the driveway from when the county goes through and plows the snow. It is what it is, you're gonna run through it. So we bought bags of ice in, wow, both the, um, we only used the rubber paddles on it because we were still afraid of, of breaking this because we wanted to finish our test. But the, the Ego threw the ice well over 40 feet and the Troy Belt still lagged slightly behind the Ego. Um, just, I'm unsure why, but it did. Uh, probably throwing it close to 33 to 35 feet. It was a great standard. We kind of felt like we were getting closer, but we weren't there yet. So we ended up going to an ice arena. Basically, we went to a hockey rink. They got their Zamboni out, did a couple dry cuts for us, and we got some snow. Uh, it was as close as we can get in August, and if you look at it, it is a packing snow. It is fairly heavy. So we thought this is an excellent real world test because Michigan, we get anything from powder to slush. And this is a great in-between, maybe a little closer to slush test than anything else that we could come up with. It's cold, so the batteries are out there. The batteries were cold, and we actually could start this unit and uh, you know deal with the cold a little bit. Everything worked good. Now, this is a new gas unit, so it starts pretty easy. With ethanol these days, usually after year two or three, they start to become a little bit harder to start if you don't use some fuel treatment in them. But either way, we started out blowing snow. The Ego really performed just as well as the Troy Bill. In a lot of cases, we could put them up next to each other and not tell the difference. We went through and we blew some really serious snow that went anywhere from 
probably six to nine inches. We even went down to four just to try the, the quality of how far it's gonna blow it. I could tell you that you will not see a difference between this Troy Built 210 and the Ego. Uh, it just simply right there with each other the whole way. You felt like they had the same amount of torque. They, they were comfortable. Both have the same handles that are higher. There's a few more options that you have with the Ego as far as uh, you can tone it down as far as how fast the blade spins or the sh it, for throwing uh, snow shorter distances. But with the heavy snow, our goal was how far will it throw? We always know we can tone things back. Um, the shoot changing on the Ego is easier than maybe it is on the Troy Bill and the Greenworks. But either way, our comparison came out that um, the Ego is no doubt very comparable, if not slightly better than our gas unit. In the Greenworks, which is a much lighter weight unit, this Greenworks unit is um, somewhere around 35 to 40 pounds. The Ego is, with the batteries, is less than 60, and the gas is uh, 95. The Greenworks was actually pretty impressive for its size in being all plastic. Um, that's one thing that kind of threw us when we first picked it up. Even the auger is plastic, so if you were to hit something like a newspaper or anything out there, it always makes you wonder when plastic is cold and it's being uh, swung around, will it crack? It looks like it's fairly a uh, good model as far as thickness of plastic, and I'm sure they use uh, different plastic that's going to bend a little bit, but it just they claim that it has a 20-foot throwing capacity, and I think it did hit that 20-foot throwing mark. The uh, Ego had a 35-foot throwing capacity, and I believe that there's no doubt that we did throw this heavy snow probably 30 feet. And we're also throwing it off to the side, so that makes a big difference also because th uh, that takes a, a direction change, takes a little bit of the power away. Most of these are rated throwing forward. So... In conclusion, to come up with this, I think if you have a larger driveway, what we ended up um, coming up with is we're going to take one of these and do a battery test. Now, we went through all of our testing on one single battery, and the Greenworks died out really quick after our first couple initial wet snow tests. So we can't give you an exact range on how far it will blow. Um, most city driveways, we think you could finish your sidewalks with it. It really needs a higher amp hour battery, but it does have decent power while it does run for that short period of time. Now with the Ego, we actually went through and were able to do all of our testing on wood chips, ice, and the snow, then clear a 40 by 60 area that had different heights of snow or this Zamboni ice through it, and then we just kept blowing it. So it was getting heavier and heavier and heavier. There's no doubt that this guy with the two batteries, while it is more expensive, is going to blow a lot more snow and is going to keep up with just about any city driveway and sidewalk. Uh, very impressive. While we did not go through and say, okay, what can we do on one tank of gas here? It would have been an interesting uh, comparison, but inside they wouldn't let us run this unit that long. Uh, we can continue to come back in the winter, but I think what we did here is actually prove that the technology is up to date, that you can get a battery operated snowblower that is going to do everything that your gas snowblower is going to do, but you're not going to have the issues with getting it to run. You're not going to have the issues with storing it and saying, okay, there's the fuel out. Do I have to take it and do any maintenance, change the oil? That situation is now, at least for single stage snowblowers, is taken care of. If you don't want to deal with it, the battery operated units are up to the task and able to do it. Now we're going to continue this a little further. We're going to get in depth on each one of these models, show you a little more of our testing, more of their features. So watch out for that in the future. But for now, at least we have proven the fact that battery operated will keep up with gas. We appreciate your time today. Stop by Workshop Addict. We'll have a blog up on this, give you a little more information, a little more pictures on what we did. Also, check us out on social media. We try to keep you guys up to date on exactly what we're doing in the correct timing so you don't have to wait for the video to come out on YouTube. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.